Welcome to Unique and Unapologetic Tarot. How you doing, my beautiful queens and handsome kings? Let's see what's going on with you. Let's start with a guardian. See what guardian is with us in this reading. Blossoming. Somebody finna have a blossom, a relationship that blossoms. You are getting started. So have patience with yourself and process. And do not give up. Look how beautiful she is. Oh, Akira. Hmm. Let's see what's. See what Angel is with us. Let's start with Angel. Emotionally sensitive. Somebody's emotionally sensitive. Look at her sitting up in that tree. Honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift from us all. Look at that angel. Is one of my beautiful babies emotional right now and sensitive? I think one of my babies is emotional right now. Look at her. Are you sitting up on that couch? Missing your baby? Is that what's going on, beautiful? Is that what's going on, handsome? We had two cards come out. Release your ex. Somebody needs to release their ex so their new relationship can come in. The time has come to clear your energy. Look at Jessica. The act said you're emotional sensitive. Look at her. Who's stressed out right now? Hmm? Honor your sensitivity. Release your ex, honey. Release your ex, handsome. Release your ex because y'all got unrequited love. Just because y'all got kids together don't mean y'all supposed to be together. No, it don't. I'm required to love. Look. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Your baby daddy or your baby mama ain't your twin flame. Beautiful. Handsome. They're not your twin flame. They're not. And all that arguing and fighting y'all doing... It's unrequited love. Look. Look. And if you look behind the curtain, handsome. If you look behind the curtain, your real love is waiting on you to come in. She waiting on you to come in. Look at it. The angels is praying. You see him praying? Like, please let this go. Please. Look, he didn't cross his arms. Like, look, they at this shit again. See what else they talking about. Somebody needs to release their ex. Go out there and flirt with your twin flame or your soulmate. Time to flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. To others. I need somebody to go extend their love to somebody else. Release your ex. Release them. All this is just telling me some of y'all got too tired of waiting on your twin flame or your soulmate. And you so comfortable with your ex. It ain't necessarily got to be your baby daddy or baby mama. But y'all know each other. And it's so easy for y'all to go back and forth, teeter-totter in this relationship. That you went back. This y'all fourth or fifth time being back together. If it didn't work the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Maybe it's your second or third, but it didn't work the first two times. Why you keep on going back? It's time to it says release your ex, unrequited love. And if you gotta go in his phone, beautiful, 
and check messages and find out he's still messing with the woman that he told you that he left for you, he needed a place to stay. It's getting cold outside, beautiful. I ain't talking shit. I'm just being real. I'm just telling you what the Spirit's telling you. First of all, he don't have nowhere else to go. And he see you getting tired of him. But he never quit messing with her anyway. Let him take his ass right on back over there. Let him go. Whoop, girl. You beautiful. Inside out. Let him go. Let him go. Let me not talk for my beautiful queen and handsome queen. Handsome. You can't, if you can't take her around your kids, pay attention to the red flags. I was just telling you, handsome. Look. 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 When I look at this one, I always feel like it's somebody doing black magic on somebody. Handsome. She paid somebody to get you to take her back. Look, look, look how that woman's looking in the corners of her eyes like I do everything for you. Pay attention to the red flags. It could be vice versa. But they ain't supposed to be with you. And until you release that ex, you holding back your own love. You know my favorite thing. Don't kill the messenger. You're holding back your own love. Messing with this ex. Let him go. If it didn't work out the first time. Second, third. I'm st I still hear four or five. I don't know how many times. Baby. You bored. You bored. You bored. You bored. You bored. And you deserve love. You deserve real love. You see, as soon as you release that ex, Cupid's already ready to hit you with the arrow to send that soulmate or your twin flame back. You are lovable, the person that you're supposed to be with. They just waiting on you to release your ex. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. I know, hey. I ain't judging either. I know sometimes people get bored or want love in their life. And that person came back and said, she, she's so sorry, she'll never do it again. He bought you them perfect gifts. No. 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 Because when you release your ex, you can give your real relationship a chance. You can give your real relationship a chance when you release your ex. Release them. So you can work on the partnership that you're supposed to really be with. Release them. Release them. Let me grab one more card. Well, that was a lot of cards. Let's grab one more card. And then we're going to pull our penny and see what's going on in this, going on with this ex. And see why you're supposed to release this ex and see what the hell this ex is doing. I don't know why you're stealing. Somebody better check their wallet. Because I hear stealing and wallet. Told you. New love. As soon as you release your ex, new love is waiting to come in. New love. I told you. I told you. Cupid. Look. Cupid ready to release that arrow. You see? You see the angel she got behind her? You see? She just sent him out to whisper in your new love's ear. Here he comes. Here she comes. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So some of y'all are already 
then met this new person. But you need to release that ex to be with this new person. Cupid didn't already hit y'all. Let them people go. If y'all got kids together, y'all being so unfair to them kids anyway, arguing and fighting. That's not right. Not calling y'all bad parents. I'm just saying, these kids is way, we was advanced. So you know kids is in advance. Come on now. You knew what was going on. New love. New love is sitting here waiting on you. New love. New love. Look. Cupid sit the arrow and the angels is whispering all in there. Now let's see why they telling you to release this ex. See, let's see. Because they telling you to release the ex for something. Let's see why. Oh, Penny wants to talk. <laughs> Four pinnacles. Because they selfish. And I told you somebody was stealing. Oh, I'm sorry. That was seven of pinnacles. <laughs> seven of pinnacles. Look. Somebody crying. It's too heavy of a burden. The relationship with your ex is too heavy of a burden and somebody is crying their little hearts out. Crying. And look, all these pinnacles ain't whole. That makes me, that that really, somebody better check, handsome, check your wallet. Check. Like Unique told me. Don't come a week later talking about, damn, I waited too long. Temperance. Temperance. Look. Look. Look at that tongue. This relationship's not balanced. This relationship's not even balanced. Look. She got you wrapped around her leg, Anson. Beautiful. Look. 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 You see it? We all know what happened to the serpent, right? He lost his legs and got a tail. This relationship's so unbalanced. You ain't even got the patience for it anymore. It's completed, y'all. It's completed. It's completed. The world. You got the world. Look, look, look. I told you somebody's stealing. Look at the lion biting her hand. Look, look. Look at the bull. Horns finna go in the body. Look, everything is coming towards it. I figured these be fun for Halloween, you know, since it's the month of the Halloween. You know, I usually, I got these as a gift. And I usually don't even, I, it's crazy that this kind of reading is coming out because I, I only use these cards when somebody asks me for a reading and they feel somebody has ill will on them. And, but I figured they'd be fun to pull out for the month of October because it was Halloween, but the world, y'all, it's completed. It's completed. It's too heavy of a burden. It's too heavy of a burden. It's so unbalanced. This shit's so unbalanced. They say complete this shit and go. Give me another card to tell from my beautiful queen hands of kings. Told you it was time to go. 
Two of Wands. You the man, hey, this is your decision card to go on the journey. It's time to go. Two of Wands. It's time to go. Your ex got your head on a stake. Two ones. They got your head on the stake. Beautiful. Handsome. Only person that's not supposed to... The emperor. Look. You need some structure in your life. You need some structure in your life. And until you release this, beautiful, that ain't this thing. And if that was his thing, I wouldn't want it looking like no ear. Look at that mouth. That's going to fuck your shit up. Handsome. I wouldn't want nothing, no snake wrapping around me. Look. Y'all need some structure. Don't kill the messenger. Give me another call. three cards, but I'm going to take them all three. Look. Their secrets. Their secrets. Y'all in illusions. Somebody knew that somebody was supposed to go and with their soulmate or their twin flame on the new moon. Somebody knew it. That's why they told the witch lady to do a spell so they could come back in. That's why they told the witch lady. Look at the look at the wolves. They howling, but look at the moon. It's a skeleton. Look. There's secrets and illusions with your ex. Which that's why y'all ain't together in the first place. Because somebody was lying, somebody was stealing, somebody was doing something they was not supposed to. And like I said, all of it, y'all ain't got kids with these people. Some of y'all feel like, oh, we got kids together. We're going to work it out for our kids. Quit being selfish to yourself. You lying to yourself. That's not how the world works. And get out of these illusions and these lies. Get out of them. It's not wish fulfillment. It's not. Nine of cups. Look. It's not wish fulfillment. All the cups. It's flowing on out. Pick your head back up. Now I know why you so emotionally sensitive right now. This is the, the, being with your ex is not wish fulfillment. It's not. It's not. It's not. Some of y'all already met your new love. And you're trying to figure out how to get rid of your old love so you can be with your new love. That's why these cups is pouring out. And this is how... I, and the empress came out. That's how I, look, I told y'all, some of y'all messing with, went back to your kids. Your baby mama, your baby daddy. Some of y'all is. The emperor and the empress, 
There's nothing abundant about this relationship. Nothing. Look, snakes ain't even going the right same way. There's nothing abundant about this relationship. There's nothing to give a new birth. There's nothing. Nothing. You know what I see? Vice versa. Your baby mama mad. Your baby daddy mad. That they know you got new love. And look at them. Wrap they self around you. Look. They done wrap they self around y'all. Private parts. That's mine. That belongs to me. I'll cut your ass. Give me another card. Page of Wands. It was not a new, it wasn't a good idea for you to go back. It wasn't. And this this further, this page, this this further let me know that some of my kings and my queens, some of my beautiful and handsome went back because of their kids. It, it was unrequited love when you left. So what made you think it wasn't going to be unrequited love when you come back? This I just said... Some of y'all went back. It ain't all of y'all. It ain't all of y'all. But I hear some of them got kids that they baby mama and baby daddy was always in y'all lives. So it's still problems even if it wasn't y'all kids. Y'all get out that mess. Get out that mess. You deserve love, and new love is already there waiting on you. The angels is... I, she shot the arrow, and they went and did their job. They already done told your new love. They ain't already told them. Here he come. Here she come. They on their way. Soon as you release your ex. Give me another card. So as you release your act. Look. Because you didn't put yourself in a self-imprisonment. Look. Do, do, do you see all the knives? In the mouth. Do you see all the knives? Somebody did a sacrifice or ritual to get your ass back to him. I don't know if it's male or female. Somebody did. Somebody did. That's what I see. I've never seen that when I've seen these cards either. But seeing it, look, they sacrificed the animal to be with you. And if you're an animal lover, you pissed right now. Y'all was fighting again within the first two weeks of y'all getting back together. Like, why the hell did I do this? Well, Unique just told you, leave him alone. What I say? The chariot. Come on, y'all. Everything I'm saying, the cards is telling you. It's time to move. You see her on that bull? It is time to move. Time to release, move. Move on. Move on. There is nothing wrong. Y'all, y'all did too much work. You on a twin flame journey. You did too much work on yourself to be stuck in something that don't serve you. Get out. That don't mean that you gotta be rude or disrespectful, but that do mean if you worked on self-love and you went back in this, you're going backwards. You're, this is not self-love anymore. You better leave. I told you. <laughs> I 
I'm not laughing at y'all. But look, the tower. You either gonna leave the relationship yourself, or it's gonna come tumbling down. Either way, it's gonna be a new a win win because you got new love waiting on you. But some of that tower moment is because somebody still I don't know who's. But the tower moment's coming with that ex. A tower moment's coming. I heard within 10 days, too. Within 10 days, somebody. Five of cups, y'all. I mean, 10 of cups. 10 of cups. I'm sorry. 10 of cups. Your tower moment got to come for you to get your ten of cups. Your tower moment got to come for you to get your ten of cups. Because some of y'all not going to release that X like you're supposed to. So, that's why the tower moment is coming for you to have your ten of cups. Ten of cups. Because you got a queen waiting on you. That came out too. A queen of wands. Look. Look. She looked like the strength card. She got her own lion. Look at him. She petting him. She got a crown. Whoever this queen is, handsome or vice versa, you know, cards don't really mean anything about gender. Whoever this is coming into your life, now they got, they got to be creative. They got to be courageous. Look, they got strength. This look like you use your strength card. Look, she ain't hitting that. She holding that up here and petting it with the other hand. But a tower moment coming for your ten of cups. New love is ready to come in. Cupid don't just shoot his arrows. Not only did Cupid shoot his arrow, he sent angels out there. Angels. So a tower moment, look at that spider. Look. Look. Tower moment coming in. Coming in. So you can have your ten of cups. What you gonna do? Are you going to release your ex willingly? Or are you going to let that tower moment come? But either way it go. Either way it go. Make, I just asked you what you was going to do. And the two of swords came out. Take them blindfolds off your eyes. Take them off. You either can make the decision willingly or you can let the decision be made for you. But the decision is going to be made. We know Cupid Mama, she's not going to let y'all waste her baby's arrows. Look, you in pain. You feel like you got stabbed in the back going back to this relationship. Look. That's why the tower moment coming. Because you feel like you've been stabbed in the back going back to this relationship. They made it seem so good that it was going to be so great. And it started off great. Remember I said two, ten days. And it started, it was going to be over for some of y'all. And then remember when I said... The, all, the relationship was only good for two weeks and then it started acting like back to the old. Then, look, two of swords. You can either make the decision yourself or spirit's going to make it for you. That's why that tower moment's coming.
Page of Swords. Look at that Page of Swords. Now, we all know. I told you, some of this got to do with kids. But somebody out there getting slandered and gossiped about anyway. And that's going to be your tower moment when that slander and gossip come back. That's going to be your tower moment when you find out. Look, I told you somebody was going to stab their back. Then it sliced your throat. Remember when I said somebody asked, did an animal sacrifice to get them back? Shall I say more? Shall I say more? Shall I say more? Y'all, another page. Y'all, if y'all don't leave these baby mamas and baby daddies, then take care of your kids. Now, you just as bad as the ex if you don't take care of your, Take care of your kids. When you get this new love, still spend time with your kids. But they lied. Talking about let's get back and we can work it out for the kids. And y'all sat there and y'all had that whole conversation. And y'all. And somebody in a relationship that it ain't their kids. It's the other person's kids. Baby mama or baby daddy. Send an ill will. To y'all relationship. So it don't work. Look at the eel coming out. Look. Look. Told y'all something that one this got to do. This relationship. Y'all got back together for the kids. And it was not wish fulfillment. The star. It was not wish fulfillment. It was not. It was not wish fulfillment. This is not wishing on a star. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It ain't wish fulfillment. It's not. It's not. It's not. Somebody stealing, like I said. Look, somebody bored in this relationship. Somebody's greedy in this relationship. And you, it's three of wands. It's time for you to move on. Told you, your head, you have the entryway to go on about your business. To release this. Go on on your journey. Go on your journey where you're supposed to be. Deuces. Go on your journey. Grab another card. If you stay in this relationship, you're going to sacrifice your new love. You're going to sacrifice your new love. You're going to sacrifice it. It's time for you to release your ex. How this started. Time to release. Release. Let that octopus, tell that octopus to let you go. You already made your decision. You can swim. You can swim. You can swim. If the angels is whispering in your three, your new loves here, they, they already in the water waiting on you to be released. You won't drown. 
Even if you don't know how to swim, your angels is down there to push you right back up at the top of the water. So it's up to you, beautiful. It's up to you, handsome. It's up to you to love yourself enough to release your ex and move on to your next relationship because new love is already there waiting on you. This message might not resonate with everybody, but you know, I really thank you for listening anyway. If you liked my message, thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys.